Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's pick a card reading this is going to be pick a door. So this is going to be what door will open for you. Find out what is in store for your future. So behind each one of these doors there is a message here for you. So if you clicked this video there is definitely a message here for you that you need to listen to right now. So please don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date to my latest readings. Like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what resonates. I do offer private readings which is linked down below in the description box. So take what messages resonate and leave behind the ones that don't. So just remember you have free will to change your future. It is never set in stone and you can change anything. These are just the current energies that you are attracting. So we have door one, door two, door three, and door four. So take a minute to meditate on the door you feel intuitively pulled to. And then when you're ready to open this door, you can click your timestamp, which is linked down below. So I'm gonna play some music now and I will see you at the click of your timestamp. Hello group number one and welcome to your reading. So this is going to be find out what's in store for your future regarding the door that you have just opened. So this is your door and we're going to open it and find out what the message is behind it. Okay, so we have the dreamer and we have walkabout. So you discover your path in sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. In Indignesia's lessons, you find the will to survive. So we very much have this energy connected to, you know, the fact you are walking on a journey. You see this connection? When I asked for a message for you, group number one, honestly, this is not just a coincidence. This is a message here for you. There is a strong connection to walk about and the fact that you are walking, okay? You are this dreamer. A new start trust yourself, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So group number one, I can already see that you're going to be going on an exciting journey in your future. This is you opening a new door, okay, you're opening a pathway and you're coming out, you're coming out of this door because you've entered this beautiful garden where I feel like there is no limits. It's like the time is ticking for you but I feel like you're just going to keep going and going because there is something better for you. You're reaching different heights. There's new gates, new doors to explore. So already the path you are going on, I feel like you are going on the correct path because you're definitely walking to a better destination. For a lot of you, I'm seeing like new career, new love. I'm seeing travel happening. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you connect to spirituality as well. Um, open up portals. So can we confirm for group number one, their future. What's in store for group number one's future? Group number one, what's in store for their future? Okay, and then we also have, oh, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles. So let's just get you one more message for group number one, what's in store for their future. Group number one, what's in store for their future, where are they heading, where is the store taking them to. Okay, and we have the queen of um, pentacles. Okay, group number one, you see this connection here, you have strong pentacle energy in your reading, which is earth signs. So a lot of you tuning in have an earth placement in your natal chart. Or you could be sun moon rising um, so this is a Taurus a Capricorn and a Virgo these are like strong zodiac energies coming through so this could be your energy or it could be someone you could meet in the future 
But the strong message I'm receiving from your reading is you see this path? I feel like this is the path you are walking on to get to the end destination. This is where you're going to meet this door. So this connection is you opening up new doors, new opportunities to reach a higher place. So I feel like this is an ongoing journey for you. Your future is so bright. I see this connection to big career, big money, manifestation, abundance. You know, this is you planting the seeds, growing your life. So I definitely see good things happening for you, group number one, because this is you, again, discovering your path. You see this connection here to this card? Discovering your path. So spirit has a message here for you. You are very grounded, okay? You're very connected to nature. You, because again, we have this connection to the trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. That is like a really strong message in, in your reading group, number one, because you have the queen of pentacles. So I can definitely tell that a lot of you are very connected to the earth. You're very connected to animals. You definitely have a love for art and beauty. You are someone who is really generous and I see that you feel like, you know, life is beautiful. So I do feel this energy of you having a loving family, a loving home. Um, I just see a lot of abundance, a lot of good fortune coming your way because you are on this exciting career path. So I feel like some of you could be studying something. You could be learning new opportunities. This could be education, university, home course, or just generally learning in your new skills, a new job that you've took. But I definitely see you signing a heavy contract, which is going to lead you to a brighter future. So a lot of you in your future are going to be buying your own home. You're going to be buying your own home. You're going to be buying a vehicle. Um, so a lot of you are going to be taking driving lessons or you will be buying a new car. So there's going to be a lot of patience coming your way because Pentacles is quite slow energy. So this just means that... You know, this journey is going to take some time to get there, but you're already on your way. Because you see this, your first card, the dreamer, you're already on your way to this fresh beginning. So know that you are going to get rewarded in the future, okay? I see that you are going to be taking time to rest because you're planning for your future. And you see this connection, we have the number one. So again, we're connecting back to new beginnings happening for you. You're opening a new door, group number one. I can't... Um, stress is enough, you're literally opening a new door. So how well does this fit in with your reading? I also see in the number seven, so a lot of you are very spiritual and we have this, um, you know, this need to assess and control things. So you definitely are going to be taking control of your life. Um, and a lot of you, I do see actually you getting into gardening, okay, getting more into, you know, being grounded to the earth. So can we get another message for group number one? What will happen for their future when they open this door? What's going to happen? Okay, so we have caution. Tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland floor. So we do have a caution here. So what's so interesting is you have the dreamer, which corresponds to the fall. And the fall card always cautions to look before you jump. It's like, look behind you before you keep going because you could actually trip up and fall. So group number one, just be cautious of the road you are taking because it can trip you up. It can take you on a lost path. So just follow the yellow brick road is literally the message I'm receiving right now. Follow that yellow brick road because when you tread softly, you're patient. You're not going to disturb anything that wasn't meant to come up for you. So again, we're connecting to the wood, we're connecting to the ground. So just know to always, you know, check things, always look left, right, always be cautious of your journey because that is your kind of guidance message and how you're going to achieve getting to your end result. So can we get another message for group number one? Their future, what's in store for group number one's future? Okay, so you have quite a lot of messages here. We have dreams. So how interesting we have the dreamer. So we have, have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book. So I see this connection to the garden, which I said you're going to be spending a lot more time in. You're definitely going to be spending more time in your home, in your garden. And this has confirmed that energy. So this is just you. Getting more knowledgeable. You know, reading a good book is you studying. You see this book, you literally are 
studying something or learning something. Um, we also have dare and we have move. So we have take a risk and fly and we have a, a rolling stone gathers no moss. So group number one, there is a strong message here in your reading because of the fact we have caution and we have dare. This is like, you know, you're literally a very daring person because again, this connects to that dreamer card of taking a risk and seeing what happens, letting things fly. So you definitely are a risk taker, group number one, and I do see these risks paying off for you because you have this connection to move, which we've been saying all along your reading that you are just moving, okay? You're walking down this yellow brick road and you are gathering information. A rolling stone gathers no moss because it just keeps going and going. It doesn't stop. So that is a strong message for you, um, group number one. So can we get another message for group number one's future? What will happen when they open this door for group number one? Okay, and then we also have trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. Again, big connector in your reading because we've been speaking about you being more knowledgeable, learning something. A higher source of knowledge is coming your way because you're trusting more. And this is connected to your third eye chakra, okay? This is you becoming more spiritual, group number one. Um, so can we get another message for group number one? What is in store for their future when they open this door? Okay, and we have turbulence. The mind is murky in rough waters. So again, there is this caution to just be careful where you tread because no one wants to step in mud, no one wants to get dirty, you know. <laughs> I feel like this is just to be careful of the water because you're very much on the ground right now and you don't want to hit a spot where you sink. So this is just to, again, this caution. So turbulence just means be careful of the winds because, you know, life does chuck things at us and we have to know how to deal with it. We have to know how to chuck it back. So this is just letting you know that things are going to be a bit up and down. It's not smooth sailing. Okay, like I said, you may get lost on your way. But group number one, you will get there. Okay, because that was the intuitive message, the channel message I received at the start of your reading, is that you're going to get there. So definitely, um, I see you being in this chair. I see you being in this high position. So group number one, this was the reading I received for you on... What is in store for your future when you open this door? So let me know in the comments what resonated and don't forget to subscribe and I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello group number two and welcome to your reading. So this is the door you chose to open. So we're gonna find out what the message is behind this door and what is in store for your future. So these were the messages that have come out for you. Okay, so we have Ego and we have Anthony's Call. In thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost, so can be found. The illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions or unhealthy habits. So group number two, there is a strong connection here in your reading that is very much connected to your spirit. So there is this energy of you being safe because I'm seeing this connector here of when you feel lost, you're gonna find your way because the illusion of being trapped is just all in the mind, okay? This is all in your thoughts. So I want you to know group number two, you're gonna set yourself free. Some of you could be rescued, okay? Some of you could have someone who's helping you out, but I definitely see you're gonna break away from these chains. You're getting out of your own way, out of your own ego. So you're letting your kind of ego faults release. You're letting them go. Because you're accepting responsibility for the situations that have happened in your life. I see you making positive choices that are going to guide you to this path of happiness. So this is when you do this, you're going to open this door that is going to lead to you letting go of unhealthy habits. So for some of you, this is a, a toxic relationship you're letting go of. This could be um, an unhealthy job or just an addiction itself. Maybe you have something that you are addicted to that you have to have daily. And I see you actually letting this go. You're starting to make the change because you've opened this door. 
So these were the messages that came out for you when I asked for you group number two. So let's just clarify and get you some more messages. So for group number two, what will happen in their future? So what else will happen for group number two in their future when they open this door? Group number two, what will happen? Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. We also have, we have the Ace of Wands and we have the Three of Swords. Wow, okay. So group number two, I can already see there is a strong message here for you, okay? Because a lot of you have gone through a tough time. This could be to do with your spiritual awakening, um, opening up more to people. But I definitely see that you've asked for help. You've asked for the support to break away from this bad habit. This bad addiction. This Again, it could be a person. For a lot of you, this is a person. For a lot of you, this is a career. Could be a family member. But you're just wanting to get away. I'm just hearing this strong message that you're opening the door because you want to get out. This is the energy of you trying to get out of this situation. So through your sadness, I see you're going to heal. Because you're having this personal growth that's coming for you. Um, so there may be challenges on the way and, you know, I feel like you are misunderstood. So there could be some kind of healing misunderstandings. So again, there could be someone on the other side that's her in this connection. But I'm seeing that there's going to be someone who is there for you. Again, I picked that up that someone's going to help you out of the situation. And now we have being there for those in need. Yeah, someone's definitely looking after you. This could be your spirit guides or someone who's just very, very close to you. Okay, so we have air signs and we have fire signs in this reading. Um, this could be sun, moon, rising. It could also be a placement in the natal chart. So this could be your energy. could be someone you are dealing with. But I'm also picking up strong Capricorn in this reading. So I see you moving on to a new opportunity. Okay, I definitely see an amazing opportunity coming your way. Because now that you've released yourself, you've kind of accepted the healing that you've had to go through, your heart. I see you being courageous. There's going to be um, a spark of energy where this is going to lead you to a new place. Because it's time for you to take action. You're going to do what you feel passionate about. So a lot of you is starting a new, a new job. A lot of you are starting a new career, something that inspires you. Some of you could be starting a new relationship, but I'm feeling more of this energy of starting something up that is going to help and heal you. I feel like you're going back to your childhood, group number two. I feel like you're connecting with the inner child. So maybe some of you had a tricky or a bit of a situation in your childhood that you've had to kind of heal and move on from. Okay, this could be some kind of child, childhood trauma. But I definitely feel like you're going to be transforming. Okay, you're going to be transforming in your future. Because I see this connection to you taking action, mastery, accomplishment. Okay, this is your connection to the number eight. This is you, as you can see, she's wearing her mask. She's wearing her mask. Her eyes are never quite seeing the outcome. But you see, we have this gate, this, this opportunity, this door opening up for you. This card is giving me a strong message for you, group number two, because this is, again, you see this connection here, the illusion of being trapped, the illusion of entrapment. You are being given a strong message right now. The lack of self-confidence that you've had, and you felt helpless in this situation, you're not going to be afraid anymore to take action. Because you're taking responsibility. Again, we have that word responsibility that keeps coming out for you. You're taking responsibility for your life now. So these are powerful messages for you, group number two. Because I feel like, again, maybe you're going through this situation now. But there is a heavy situation that you are going through. Um, you know, it's basically the ego connects to the devil card in Tarot with the three of swords. It's, it's a strong energy there. But again, I'm seeing this bright, positive future because you have, you know, the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Swords. This really does make me feel like you are getting out of this situation. You're starting afresh. You're opening this door. 
and you're walking on your own path now because you've broke away from this situation. So I, I don't see anything negative for you group number two because I feel like you're getting out. You're getting out of this situation because you've opened the door now. So you're asking for help. You've, de you've definitely got help from someone which reverts back to your first car, being safe and sound. Even when you feel lost, you're going to find your way. So what else does group need, number two need to know about their future? When they open the store, group number two, what do they need to know about their future? Okay, so we have... <laughs> wow. You really have rescue. I mean, you can't make this up. Help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. So... You, you're receiving a strong message. You are going to be helping other people, group number two. You're going to be also receiving help because you've been rescued. And I said that word, didn't I? I said, someone's going to rescue you. I felt that energy where someone was going to come in and help you out of this situation. So this is a clarifier. This is a confirmer. Don't be afraid to ask for help because assistance is on its way. So there's definitely this back and forth energy of helping people. Group number two, what will happen for their future? Okay, so we have retreats and we also have a light. So group number two, we have spoil yourself in the morning mist, breathe in nature's sweet scents. And we have look to the space between the trees for answers. So I see that when you break out of this situation and you start to actually realise you have a door that you can walk out from and you have this release this is when you're going to reach this place where you can retreat because this is this beautiful place where you can spoil yourself in you can enjoy and relax now because you're enjoying nature so this is just you getting out of this situation because now you can relax and retreat because you've seen the light okay I feel this energy we have this light here so I do feel like You've received the light, you're definitely becoming more spiritual or having some kind of spiritual awakening in the future. Because you see the connection here between the trees. And we have a tree here. So when you, this is where you're going to find your answer is through these trees. Um, the space between these trees, there's two, we have a plant, we have a tree. Look between this, there is, you see the light the connector here you're constantly being given signs group number two so this is where your answers are and it's all in this new beginning it's all in this new chapter so look between this space look between the space between your childhood and your adulthood the middle gap find out what's missing what's in store for group number two's future when they open the store okay so we have harmony Harmony makes the song of life sweeter. This is connected to your chakra balance. So all of your chakras are going to start to align with each other. Again, I'm seeing this connection to sweeter and sweet scents. You see that connection? So there is this harmony happening for you because you've got out of this situation. And life is sweeter. This is the energy of you realising that life gets better. That's the channel message I'm receiving. Life gets better better. What will happen to group number two in their future? Okay, and then we also have beauty. Dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. So let's just get you one more message to end your reading. What will happen to group number two in their future? Oh, okay, so we had retreat that came out and we also have potential. The littlest key can open the heaviest door. I'm going to repeat this again. The littlest key can open the heaviest door. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Group number two, your potential is coming. You have big potential. So what I'm seeing here is you opening this door. Because again, you've gone through this heavy situation, which I said, where you're now opening this door where things are going to become lighter. And that's because you have the key. You have the key to let yourself out. That is the message I'm receiving. Now, retreat came out for you again. So this is a clarifier of retreating. 
Never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. So, yeah, you're going to be going through healing. We picked that up in the Three of Swords. You're going to be going through healing. And I feel like you underestimate your connection. So there's going to be a quiet moment for you to sit back and reflect on this. And then you have dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable is because you're beautiful. There's going to be a lot of beauty you're going to see because, again, life gets better. So you're going to become stronger. And it's okay to be vulnerable. That is the message I'm receiving as well. It's okay to ask for help sometimes. It's okay to be vulnerable. It shows you are human. It shows you are a person. So I definitely see you getting out of a situation, group number two, and your life is going to get brighter. So this was a reading I received for you, group number two. A little bit heavy, but let me know what resonates. I would love to know. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. So you chose this door to open. So we have a message here behind this door and one that you may need to hear. So we're going to find out what's in store for your future. So these were the messages that came out when I asked for a message for you group number three. A cure for longing and we have the four of swords. So love is happiness, a spark inside Live deliberately and choose boldly, then you have arrived. Insights that come from meditation, the need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion, get more sleep. So I feel like group number three that you are working on your foundation in life. So in the future, you're going to find stability. I see you resting i see you sitting down and and realizing this is the spot that you're meant to be in a lot of you will be getting into meditation so this is more spiritually um you're going to be more spiritually connected but i see you taking your armor off okay because there was a battle that you may have gone through and this is your cure for longing longing to be happy i see love and happiness coming you your way because there is this light energy of spark that's going to happen inside of you. So you're definitely going to live more. You're going to be choosing decisions more decisively. And you're going to arrive in a destination because you're receiving more insights from meditation. Um, I see you traveling. I see you working on your mental health. And you are going to be getting more sleep. You're going to be getting more time back for yourself. So again, I just feel like... Group number three, you're going to be like resting more because you've kind of arrived at a destination where you can relax. It's this moment of, you know, sitting back and taking in what's happened in your life. So group number three, what will happen in their future? So what will happen in their future for group number three? So what will happen for group number three in the future? Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles, and then we also have the Five of Wands. So group number three, okay, I, I can see this message for you where big change is happening in your future. So I feel like you've took this moment to rest because you've been doing way too much. Okay, and I am calling you out because I feel like you've been doing a lot. Um, there is this energy of unwise choices. So this just means that some of you could have been addicted to gambling or some kind of heavy spending. So you're going to understand that there's a better way that's going to make you happier. And it's not money, okay? It's not, it's not the fault of money that's going to make you happy so you're going to be avoiding people in your future who are leading you down this path because they're the people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives so one thing i see happening for you is you letting go of obstacles challenges conflict you don't want to deal with this anymore so for some of you you're getting out of a, a situation you're getting a rise you're starting to run away, walk away with your winnings because you don't want to risk anything else. You don't want to risk your future. So you've decided to take a step back because you need this moment to 
just not move because you've been moving way too much things are just getting a bit crazy and you're checking out okay you're giving up which is good because you need to understand you need to walk away sometimes because it, the result will not be good if you keep going down this path and that is when you realize that through help you can do what you love because I see you getting a lot of support around you from colleagues, friends, family. You are going to get stuck into something that's very creative in your future. So I feel like you're taking now time to be by yourself because I see this energy of you being around loads of people who may have been a bad influence. But you see this energy here where you're always by yourself now because I see you having the recognition that you deserve. So you're going to be in a job where it's going to be really fulfilling. There's going to be a lot of quality to your work. Again, it's going to be, it's going to spark passion in your life because you're, you're actually going to be getting paid well for this craft that you're doing. You're going to be working well with other people. So this is you actually having a better reputation because you had a, a bad reputation in the past. So I see that you've realised there's a better way to make money. That's kind of the strong message I'm receiving. There's a better way to make money. There's a healthier way to make money. So that's something you're going to go through. Because you're reflecting on this. You see we have the number five again for you. So it's almost like you change and then you change again. Because you're always growing. And I see that there is this window for you to open up. There is this mirror for you to walk through. Because you're looking at your reflection now, you're assessing yourself and realising that you are the person who can make the change in your life. So again, I feel like you are letting go of conflicts with other people that have caused opposing opinions on your life. You're going to be walking away from the drama because you're realising it's not worth your time. So you're going to stand up for yourself and I see you being really ambitious. So again, there is this connection to you feeling a lot happier. You're just taking this moment to look at yourself in the mirror because you've worked on your inner self, your inner healing. So I definitely see you walking away from a situation to realise that you can make a healthier way of living, a healthier way of choices, a healthier way to make money. So career is strong in your reading group number three that you have a big career ahead of you. But you've took time out to yourself. This is you reflecting on yourself, working on your inner self. Because I see this is how you're going to get love and happiness into your life. Because you've chose the decisions. So what else will happen for group number three in the future? What will happen for group number three in the future? Okay, we have friends. The most unlikely friendships can form... Like variegated lynchings on hard rock, they create a tight bond. So what have we been saying? I feel like we've been talking about the, the friendships you keep. We've been talking about you walking away from bad people and getting the support from your friends, your colleagues, the you know people who are good for you. So I do feel like you're going to be making new friends in your future. You're definitely going to make unlikely friendships because you've transformed into a different person. Can we get another message for group number three? What will happen for them in the future? For group number three. Okay, so we also have courage. When picking roses, don't fear the thorns. So yeah, you're going to have a lot of courage in your future. So I see you being brave. Being brave to make these decisions. And I feel this energy of... The roses and the thorns are like the roses are the good people and the thorns are like the bad things that you don't want to touch. So I definitely see you're going to be picking picking your roses, picking your friends wisely. Can we get another message for group number three? What will happen for them in their future for group number three? Okay, so we have the third eye chakra. So a lot of you are going to be connecting to your third eye chakra. You're going to be opening up more. You're going to be seeing more things. We have destiny, follow your instincts, they lead to the truth. So group number three, you have a destiny. Okay, when you open this door, you have a destiny. So your fate, your future, I feel like it has been planned for you because you do have a destiny that you're meant to fulfill. So just follow your instincts because they've always been 
They may not have always been on point, but I feel like they're going to lead you to the truth. So you're definitely going to open up something when you open this door. There's going to be a truth because, again, we see the truth when we start to look back at ourselves. What else will happen for group number three in their future when they open this door? What will happen for group number three? We have patience. The tide will come in when it's ready. So I see you being patient. You're sitting back because you understand things happen your destiny will happen when it's ready so don't push things because everything is happening in divine timing what will happen for group number three in their future okay radiance keep your head high and follow the sun wow so we're going to finish your reading off on this message because this is that glow up this is that light coming for you at the start very first card of your reading because you're keeping your head up high can you see this connector here she's got her head up high because you realize your worth you realize you need to follow the sun you will need to follow the sun because this is your direction of a better place this is when you are going to see the light you're going to see the sun reflect back at you which again corresponds to your first card of happiness, a spark inside and you're lighting the spark because you are following the sun. So group number three, I actually see good things happening for you. I feel like you're going to get to this place of radiance. You're going to follow the sun because again, you're realizing what you need to leave behind. And I see you concentrating on your career and your kind of mental health. So group number three, this was the reading you received. Also, we have strong friends in this reading as well. You're going to be meeting a lot of friends. So let me know in the comments what resonates. I would love to know. And I'm sending you all so much love and light. Hello, group number four, and welcome to your reading. So this is the door that you chose to open. So there is a message behind here. So I already asked for a message for you, group number four, and these were the messages that came out. So... We have distant dream and we also have justice. So I'm picking up a Libra. So this could be sun, moon, rising or a placement in your natal chart. This could be you or someone you may meet. The distance calls your heart to roam free as you dare dream it. So must it be. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. So I see that you're going to be balancing things in your life. And one side of your life is going to get more brighter for you. And the other side may need a little bit more work. So I definitely see you basically being your own boss. Being in a position where you're going to stand up for what you believe. Because you're seeing different sides to a situation. And this is you understanding your dreams. Because I feel like your dreams are calling you. And this is what your heart is connected to. Because I feel like you have a big dream that you're trying to manifest. And I see you winning this. Okay, I see you being in this position of understanding what needs to happen. So I feel this energy that life hasn't been fair for you, group number four. You may have gone through things where just it hasn't been fair. That's kind of the message I'm receiving. But in the future, you're going to receive justice. You're going to actually receive all that you've been needing. So what is in store for group number four in their future? What will happen for group number four in their future? What will happen for group number four in their future? Okay, we also have the Magician and we have Transformation. So there is major things happening for you, group number four. You have major life aspects that are going to happen when you start to manifest. So I see you manifesting things because there is new opportunities coming for you. We have the number one, so new beginnings is strong. This is like your main indicator of your reading that something bright is going to happen for you so i'm seeing that you're going to be listening to your faults so there's going to be brilliant ideas that are going to happen for you so you're going to be overcoming obstacles and this could be to do with your faith but everything is going to work out for you and this is because you're communicating clearly and i see you realizing your power you're realizing your power 
So this could be a new career path for you. This could be you opening up a new door that you've been manifesting because I see that magic is definitely alive in your life and you're going to work out what it, you need to do to be successful. So again, it's this balance in energy and working out what I said was you need to put more in this side because it's not balancing. Your life is not balanced. So when you start to put what you need in this side, things are going to level up for you. So you just need to know what you need to be successful and how you're going to manifest this. So you need to believe more because this is how your dreams are going to come true when you believe more and you believe you can do it. Um, I see you have big transformation in your reading. Okay, so to have justice, the magician transformation, I see this as being really positive. Okay, because there is going to be a life experience that is going to require change to be made. So again, we're talking about this leveling up, this adding more to something in your life. Something is lacking in your life that you are taking responsibility for. So I see this kind of be more powerful and something unexpected will happen for you because you're breaking free of procrastinating anymore. You're breaking free and you're releasing old belief systems. So again, we have this connection to beliefs and maybe this is to do with the justice field, but maybe you're being judged. There could be some kind of judgment here as well. But I see you kind of getting out of this situation in good timing. There is a time indicator here where you are going to have this light bulb on of a moment where you can realise what you want to build. So for a lot of you, this is a new home. This is a new career. But you are manifesting, you are literally manifesting magic. Okay, you're manifesting. It's almost like you're, you're making up a spell. You're kind of putting all the ingredients in. You're writing out a spell. And... I see this connection to this feather of spirituality coming your way because you, you're being given a helping hand. So I definitely feel like your future is really dreamy. It's like really dreamy because I'm seeing your potential of growth. I feel like some of you may be dealing with a water sign in your future as well. Someone in your life will come into your life who's going to be of a water sign. But it's almost you getting out of the stormy weather, okay? Getting out of the snow, and you're going to kind of reach a place that's kind of better. So I definitely see you transforming, going in a better direction. So let's get you some more information for group number four. What will happen for group number four in their future? Group number four, what will happen for them in their future? Okay, so we have path. Wonder on the path, less travelled, what you might find what you find might surprise you, yeah. So again, something unexpected is going to happen because there is a new path for you. This path is leading you to somewhere where I feel like a lot of you are going to be travelling. So there's definitely something magical, something surprising that's going to happen for you, group number four. So can we get a message for group number four, what will happen for them in the future? Okay, we have joy. Wow, that's that's amazing. Make time for the little things today. So you're going to be more joyful in the future. There's more joy and happiness coming your way. Because your heart is roaming free. So you're going to be spending more time doing the things you enjoy. And again, you're working out what it is that you're lacking. You're working out what you're lacking in your life. So can we get another message for group number four? what will happen for group number four in their future okay we have three messages here self-care drowning doesn't always require water okay we have chance allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore you never know what the tide may bring in and we also have ambition set your sights beyond the horizon so group number four, I see you working on yourself. I see there's going to be a lot of self-care because you've realised what you need to do now. You've worked out the missing tools, the missing ingredients, the spark that's missing in your life. And you're taking a chance on this because you're allowing things to kind of come onto your path. You're allowing things to 
be brought into your life. And this is because you're becoming more ambitious, okay? You're setting your sights beyond this horizon, okay? Beyond this view. It's almost like you need to get to the top of this tower, the top of this point, to see where you are going. Because you're a really ambitious group number four. You have big goals in Korea. You know, I'm definitely feeling that energy where you have big goals in your career. So can we get another message for group number four? What will happen for group number four in your future? We have letting go. So this is connected to your sacral chakra. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it is the first step towards success. Wow. So group number four, you're going to be letting go of something and that is to do with the fact that you have to build something again in your life so the missing pieces of your life you're going to rebuild you're going to be letting go of something or someone so this is letting go of people this could be letting go of a career a home it could be letting go of part of yourself because i feel like you need to understand that it doesn't always mean that you've given up because sometimes things don't work out for us and that's just sometimes how life is so the first step towards success is understanding that you need to let go of something okay you need to let go in order for you to manifest your dream life so let's get you one more message group number four what will happen for group number four in their future expression express your true self the world needs you which is connected to your throat chakra so i feel like group number four you're going to be working in a career where you need to use your voice you need to express yourself so be in your true self because the world needs you i feel like you have a high high purpose on life you have a life purpose a destiny a, a path that you need to go on um, again, we have the Magician, which connects to number one. So there definitely is new beginnings happening for you. There is a situation that you're going to get out of, the situation you're going to receive justice on. And this is going to lead you to a whole new journey. This is going to lead you to this door that's opened up for you. So I definitely see a path going towards career, a path going towards family and love. So just work on your self-care. Work on your ambitions. Because that's when you're going to bring chance and joy into your life so group number four this was the reading i received for you and what will happen for you in your future when you open up this door so thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what resonated don't forget to subscribe and i'm sending you all so much love and light